Hello to this tutorial on how to set up the load remover for Horizon Zero Dawn. In this video I will cover how to install the virtual camera plugin inside OBS and set it up. Also I will cover how to install the virtual auto splitter component in LiveSplit before we go and set everything up so it works together. I also assume that you already have OBS Studio installed, not Streamlabs OBS or similar software. It may work with them, but in this video I will go only over how it works in OBS Studio. I also assume that you have LiveSplit already installed. First, we install the virtual camera plugin for OBS. So go to the page linked in the description and click go to download. This will download a setup file which you can just save anywhere you want and then start it usually with a double click. Windows should pop up now and ask for administrator privileges. Accept those and then follow the setup. Accept the license agreement and make sure that you select the right destination folder in the next step. This needs to be the folder where your OBS Studio is installed. If you have not changed the path during your OBS Studio installation, it should automatically find the correct one. In the last setup step, uh, the installer will ask you how many virtual cameras you want to register. For the load remover, you only need one. Make sure that your OBS is not running before you press install. Let the installer do its work and when once it finished, you are safe to close that window and open up OBS. You can verify that it has been successfully installed by going to Tools inside OBS and if you see Virtual Cam listed, it is successfully installed. Also, at this point, a quick note about the built-in OBS Virtual Camera. Since OBS version 26, OBS has a built-in Virtual Camera from function that you can start via one button click. While this can work, it is more error prone, especially if you have multiple sources in your scene. For example, if you have a face cam or your live split on screen, if you cover up the area where the loading screen or the loading indicator is, the load remover will not work. So I really don't recommend using the built-in virtual camera. The plug-in version has just more features that makes it easier to use with. So if you are using the virtual camera plugin, you will never need this start virtual cam button. Next, we are going to install the live split video auto split component. I have provided the download link as well in the description. So go and download the zip file. Open the downloaded zip in the Windows File Explorer or another program that is capable of opening zip files like 7zip or WinWar. Open another File Explorer window and navigate to the folder where your live split is installed. Inside that folder is the folder named components and you want to move or drag and drop all the files inside the downloaded zip in a component folder. Now you only need to download the load remover via S files linked in the description as well. Save the downloaded zip file to a location where you can find it again and extract all of it. 
using the Windows File Explorer, you can just right click it and do Extract All. Remember the path to the location you put this, you will need it later. Now we will go into OBS and set up the virtual cam filter. It does not matter if you run Horizon directly on your PC, on the PlayStation, even if you have a capture card or, or you're using remote play, the, this process is exactly the same. There are differences later, especially in combination with remote play, but I will cover them when setting up the load remover. So, find your game source in your sources. For me, I just created a scene with just the game. Right now, this is running on PC, but it does not matter. Right click it and go to filters and create a new virtual cam filter. The name does not matter. Afterwards, you want to make sure that you select target camera OBS camera and then you want to start the filter. Starting the filter is imperative for the load removal to work. And you have to restart this every time you open up OBS and you make sure to do this, otherwise it won't work. Afterwards, open up live split. This is just the Blinko live split with no splits and no layout loaded in. You can use obvious uh, your own layout and your own splits, but for the example, I'm just using a, a layout with nothing in it. So you want to edit the layout and add a new component. The video auto splitter is inside control, and this is what uh, we are using for the load remove. So add this into your layout and then open up the layout settings. Go to the top of the video auto splitter and open up the game profile. This is the VI Edge file we downloaded earlier. So click on browse and navigate to the folder where you extracted that zip file earlier too. Inside that zip file, um, there are all these, this is folder HDD variants, but inside there are multiple uh, files. Under normal circumstances, you want to use the HDD normal. Um, there are small differences between them. For example, if you use Oh, yeah. If your game is on German, you obviously use the German version, otherwise it won't work. There's also the HCD Remote Play, which has some small tweaks to work more reliable with uh, Remote Play. So if you capture your game via Remote Play. But for now, we're gonna go with the normal.was and open this. Oh, afterwards, you want to select a capture device. Don't be confused, I have a lot of video cameras devices in my system. For you it should only be um for you it should be less. So select OBS camera. This should be the exact same that you selected earlier in the filter as well. After you've done this, you can go over to Scan Region and you can see if you have this highlighted area here, um, it can detect. And in theory, it should work afterwards. But for this to work, you have to select or input the correct Scan Region settings. The correct scan region settings are found on the GitHub page in the README Horizon Zero Dawn file. This is linked in the description as well. Depending on the game profile you selected earlier, 
you may need different scan regions. For the normal dot dots, you need X99, Y976, width is 115, and height is 25. You can see that there only should be a small area hi highlighted down there. So, I can close this. And one more thing you have to do before it will probably work is you have to make sure that your timer is either displaying current timing method and your current timing method is set to game time or you can just set it to game time. Then you can press OK. And if I now start the timer and load into the game, uh, let me just load a save real quick. Um, you can now see that the timer has stopped. Inside live split, you can also see that the video auto splitter, if you go to the feature tabs, you can see some value here. Uh, if this value is um, not correctly set up, it may make problems. Now to the final part of this video, which is simple troubleshooting. There are some problems that occur commonly, and I will touch on them shortly. The first problem is that the camera get, uh, does not get detected in live split. This can happen, for example, if you start live split before starting the virtual camera. It does not happen all the time. We don't exactly know why it happens, but we know that it's usually fixed by restarting live split. Of course, make sure that the virtual camera filter is actually running. Another commonly occurring problem is that the timer starts less stops randomly during normal gameplay. This is probably a problem with the value that the load remover is looking for. To debug this problem, look at a value for loading in the live split feature tab um, while you are playing. Especially note the values that you get during the loading screen and during normal gameplay. If your value during normal gameplay is sometimes higher than 11, try using the remote play. Uh, VHS file. It could also be a problem with the alignment of your scan area. So double check that you have the correct X, Y, width and height. Another problem is if your game is not running at 16 to 9 resolution. The load remover is expecting the loading text in a very specific position and having other resolution formats will break this position. So if you are running the game not in 16 to 9, maybe ask in the tech help channel and we can help you adapt the load remover to your format that you're running. If you run Horizon on the PS4 or PS5, you also have to make sure that your display settings are set to the maximum. So for the PlayStation, go into your settings, go into sound and screen, display area settings, and enlarge that to the maximum setting possible. Otherwise, the menu position of the loading text will also not be in the right place. If this still has not solved your problem, Asked in the speedrunning Discord in the hashtag tech help channel.